Hello. I wanted to take a minute to go over some function functionality added in our 4.35 release, which is our June 2020 21 release, specifically around uh, being able to control uh, labels or prefixes on, on uh, some of the planning screens. Uh, I'm going to start with the planning workbench and talk a little bit about that. Um, so more specifically, um, what I want to do is draw your attention down in the transactional MRP. We also call it the vertical MRP or vertical display. Um, the, the labels that I'm talking about are the ones before, say, a document number. In this case, uh, I've got log uh, colon and then a, a number. This is actually a batch ticket. Um, and in previous releases, it was hard coded that it would be batch uh, colon. You now have the ability to control the text associated with this. In this case, I'm using my demo in my, my brewery demo environment because they typically call um, their production document logs. Um, but you can call it whatever you want. I'll show you the setup in just a second. I also have done the same thing on my production, my plan production, uh, start dates and end dates and things like that. So I've given a little more granularity, a little more uh, um, um, specifics uh, that might uh, be good for, for my company or in my case, my demo environment. Now this is configured under setup, application, and uh, production planning setup. There, this screen has existed the entire time. What we added was a, a tab here. Specifically, I want to draw the attention to this vertical MRP first. This is where I can add the text values. These were the original values. So if you go into the planning workbench before you load the update, you will see all of these. Also, that will be the default position for these labels. You can come in and change this label, and that's how I got plan production start and plan production end. I've got some other transaction types here, uh, but basically that's where we, we've got that. Um, we also, in a certain documents like sales orders and purchase orders or forecasts, I control all of that as well. Uh, one additional piece I want to talk about is some change that we made around uh, giving you some control over the prefix on the calendar and the schedule. Specifically, let me pick up my production schedule, just do a refresh. And what I'm talking about right here is on the order slash batch number. Uh, we've got uh, B colon uh, for batch and, and batch numbers, etc. Uh, maybe for the brewery, I should put that as, as L colon for a log. Um, if I also open up, uh, say, my firm planned and unfirm planned orders, you'll see the same thing here. Uh, this is a firmed planned order and this is an unfirmed planned order. Um, and all of that comes from the setup on um, uh, setup, application, um, production planning setup, specifically the MRP captions, and it's right here. So in front of a batch uh, number or batch identifier, it would be a, a B, B colon, and then a firm planned order, I've got FP, and an unfirm planner, I've got uh, UP. Anyway, so uh, hopefully you can see we're, we're trying to give you more flexibility to define your environment using uh, terminology that makes sense for you and your organization. We'd love to hear your feedback and, and hope this is helpful. Thanks a lot and have a great day.